In more than two years of the Russia-Ukraine war, I believe we have never been this close to the possibility of Russia using its nuclear weapons. Great powers have great reputations, and while Ukrainian actions in Russia may seem brave, they may ultimately prove to be reckless. Russia is a great power. It has the largest stockpile of nuclear weapons and a robust defense industry. For a country like this to lose a war against a relatively small power like Ukraine would be a massive humiliation. For two years, Ukraine has put up a tough fight against Russia, but what Ukraine is doing now is extremely risky. Ukraine's incursion into Russia's Kursk region is not just a tactical defeat for Russia but a significant humiliation, especially for Vladimir Putin. Videos circulating online show Russian citizens pleading with Putin for help, and this scenario leads me to say that this is Ukraine's version of Pearl Harbor. Remember, the reason the US nuked Japan was the humiliation Japan inflicted on Americans and the US's inability to launch an effective counterattack on Japan. The situation with Russia today is eerily similar. Russia is already bogged down in war, and now Ukraine has opened a new front, this time inside Russian territory. According to the Russian army, about 1,000 Ukrainian troops have entered Kursk. After days of official silence, Ukraine's president, Volodymyr Zelensky, acknowledged the offensive for the first time, saying that Kiev was pushing the war into Russian territory. Russia invaded Ukraine in February 2022, occupying swathes of eastern and southern Ukraine and subjecting Ukrainian cities to daily missile and drone attacks. Ukraine did recapture some areas in 2022, but this Ukrainian offensive is so far the largest and most successful. Ukrainian troops have advanced several kilometers into the Kursk region, forcing Russia's army to rush in reserves and additional equipment. While Ukraine claims to have no plans to annex Russian territory, it's clear that as long as the war continues, Ukraine will not withdraw from Russian soil. Given the progress of Russian forces in this two-year-long conflict, it seems unlikely that it will be easy for Russia to push back Ukrainian forces. What we are witnessing now is the shift of battle from Ukrainian to Russian territory. While we hope the conflict does not escalate to a nuclear level, the possibility always remains. The strength and success of the Russian counterattack will be the deciding factors for the next stages of this war.